Breaking overnight, dozens of people in Albemarle County are displaced from their apartments after a massive blaze rekindled at their complex. A judge says the man charged with the car attack that killed a counter protester to the Unite the Right rally will go to trial for murder in Charlottesville, at least for now. It is 430 and your news at sunrise starts now. Live in high definition from the area's most experienced news team. This is NBC 29 HD News at Sunrise. Good morning, I'm Matt Tallhelm. Jennifer has the morning off and we thank you for waking up with us on this Friday, August 31st. We made it to the end of the month and heading into a long weekend for some of you. Some of you, hopefully you get to enjoy that. But unfortunately, it's not going to be all sunshine and wonderful weather. Let's get a check on that first forecast with meteorologist David Rogers. Good morning, David. All right, good morning, Mac. Thank you, David. Right now, firefighters in Albemarle County are battling a massive blaze that rekindled overnight in an apartment complex. That fire is forcing dozens of people out of their homes this morning. NBC 29's Caroline Colburn is live on the scene with the latest developments. Good morning, Caroline. Okay, Caroline Colburn, live in Albemarle County. Of course, we'll continue to follow and bring you live updates throughout the morning. Thank you, Caroline. Here's a look now at the stories making headlines in the day ahead. A University of Virginia football fans in Charlottesville will paint the town orange tonight. The annual pep rally has been going on for almost 27 years. It takes place tonight at the Sprint Pavilion. That's on the downtown mall. The rally kicks off the weekend of UVA's first football game of the season against the Richmond Spiders Saturday night. Paint the town orange gets underway at 8:30. Football fans can also gear up for some high school action. The Friday Night Fury is back tonight. NBC 29 will be live at Louisa County as the Lions take on Chancellor. We will also bring you highlights of the first eight-man high school football league. That kicks off in Virginia tomorrow. Crozet orthodontists are donating custom fit mouth guards to young athletes today to help prevent dental injuries during the sports season. Hamer and Classic Orthodontics annual event takes place later today. Appointments are available from 830 to 1145 and then again from 145 to 4 o'clock at the company's Crozet location. Turning now to our top stories on this Friday morning, the trial for the man accused of a deadly car attack following last year's Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville will stay in the city for now. A circuit court judge decided Thursday to attempt to seat a jury for the November trial of James Fields Jr. Fields is accused of driving his car into a crowd of protesters on August 12, 2017. Activist Heather Heyer died and several others were injured. If a Charlottesville jury cannot be seated, the court could bring in a jury from somewhere else instead of moving the trial. A federal court rejected a request from Virginia Republicans to put off an October deadline for redrawing several House of Delegates districts until the Supreme Court weighs in on the case. The GOP made that request Thursday following a special session in Richmond. The governor called the General Assembly back to session in redrawing those districts that were packed with African American voters. Democrats presented a plan they say makes adjustments to those districts and decreases the number of split precincts. In June, the federal court ordered lawmakers redraw the House voting map by October 30th after finding several districts were unconstitutionally gerrymandered. A new date is set for a hearing about the future of the Foxfield racetrack in Albemarle County. Both sides will now gather in Albemarle Circuit Court on September 11th when they expect to hear a judge's decision. A lawsuit alleges the CEO of the race association is trying to sell the property to turn it into a housing development. The hearing was postponed earlier this week due to the judge's involvement in an ongoing criminal trial. Green County Emergency Services are getting funding for new equipment to respond to flooding after those storms we saw this summer caused severe damage in the county. Supervisors approved $17,000 to train 12 to 16 volunteer firefighters so they can react quickly during a flood. The money will also pay for equipment including ropes, personal flotation devices, dry and wet suits, helmets and boots. We're actually going to be obtaining a certification, a swift water technician certification, um, and that will allow them to perform duties that they right now do not possess the capability to, to, to do. Uh, we also are going to be purchasing some equipment. Um, so obviously, coupled with the training and the equipment, um, we're going to be enhancing public safety across the board for, for our community. 
The county says a storm in May caused almost $5 million in damage. Covering Virginia at 438 this morning, the betting odds say Northern Virginia is the most likely spot for Amazon's second headquarters. Washington, D.C. and Montgomery County, Maryland are second and seventh most likely locations. All of this according to the online gambling site Bovada. Amazon announced plans for HQ2 last September, and since then, the company's narrowed down its list of possible locations to 20. Amazon says it will invest $5 billion in construction and bring 50,000 new jobs to whichever area is picked. A Madison County service dog nonprofit will have to pay a Virginia Tech student thousands of dollars for raising one of its dogs. A judge ruled service dogs by Warren Retrievers owes Brianna Birch more than $8,700 for expenses and legal bills. The nonprofit sued Birch after she refused to return the dog Leslie. Birch filed a counterclaim to keep the dog and recoup her costs. The judge also ruled Birch cannot keep Leslie, but the dog will be allowed to stay with her while she appeals. The state filed a separate lawsuit against service dogs by Warren Retrievers for what the attorney general calls dishonest business practices. Nine airports in the Commonwealth will receive more than $10 million in federal funding. Louisa County Freeman Field Airport will get $346,000 to help build perimeter fences. Other airports which received money include Dulles and Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport. Virginia's U.S. Senators Mark Warner and Tim Kaine announced that funding Thursday. Virginia Blood Services will become part of the American Red Cross in early November, but it will continue to serve its current roster of hospitals. As part of the agreement, the Red Cross will offer employment to the majority of Virginia Blood Services employees. Others impacted by this transition can receive job search and other related assistance. Covering America at 439, protests continue in North Carolina over the Silent Sam Confederate statue. Protesters tore down that statue on the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill campus last week. Two opposing groups rallied at the empty pedestal Thursday night. One group against the statue and one that wants to see it restored. Then more than two dozen people arrived carrying signs that said, Save our monument, preserve our history. Silent Sam supporters held a large Confederate flag near the pedestal while being contained behind a barricade surrounded by all those police officers. People were later seen covering their faces and coughing after a gas believed to be pepper spray was dispersed over the crowd. The newly released plan for Disney's latest expansion is ensuring adults can enjoy the happiest place on earth. The Star Wars Galaxy's Edge expansion to Disneyland will include a place that's called Oga's Cantina. The alien-themed bar is modeled after a cantina first seen in the original Star Wars film. Disney confirms it will sell alcoholic cocktails. That will make it the only place at the park where visitors can purchase alcoholic beverages. The expansion is set to open in 2019. I'm sure a lot of parents will be pretty pleased about having a drink there. A university in California is paying people hundreds of dollars to eat an entire avocado every day for six months. Researchers hope they can learn more about how this super fruit affects your health. What is a brand name for the product that has a mascot of a muscular man with a shaved head and earring? Think about it. Send us your answer to Stumper at NBC29.com. Today's winning is NBC29 coffee mug. Plus that uh, gift certificate valued at 250 bucks. Do we know how to get a holiday weekend started or we what? sure do. And we're also giving away a 32-inch <laughs> flat screen television. So uh, if you want to win, get your answers in. Prizes to give away and Prizes I think galore. kind of made this one an easy one for us on a Friday. Yeah, we know. I think so. Much, yeah, kind of, you know, get into the holiday spirit here. I don't want to make it too tough. Yeah. For you. If I've already got the answer by myself without yeah. Jennifer's help, then <laughs> we're in good shape. We're in good shape. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, David. All right, you bet. We'll be right back. <laughs> we're back at 450, and this is a dream assignment for all avocado lovers out there. Universities are actually paying people to eat an entire avocado every day. NBC's Erica Edwards has details. Move over, Apple. Tempers flared once again at an Albemarle County School Board meeting so much that police arrested six people as those tensions grow over the school system's dress code policy. 